Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. If you are new, I'm assuming you have either had bariatric surgery or you're thinking about it, just curious. If you are, I definitely recommend subscribing to my channel and checking out my other gastric bypass videos in the playlist linked down below. I had gastric bypass on November 16th, 2021, right? I'm like, what year is it? <laughs> As you can tell by the title of this, I am having gastric bypass surgery. When you're watching this, I will be in surgery. It's been about three and a half months. I've lost 70 pounds and you guys have really seemed to love me sharing my journey here. And I've gotten some requests for this video. So I'm gonna be sharing my gastric bypass essentials. What I brought with me to the hospital, what I have found to be incredibly helpful over the last few months. I hope this video is helpful to you. I will link everything down below in the description box. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's go ahead and start off with what was in my surgery bag going to the hospital. So I just brought my favorite backpack and honestly, I thought I would need more than I did. So take it from me, there's not a whole lot that you need. I normally wear contacts. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you wear your glasses that day. Bring an extra pair of underwear. Bring a good pair of headphones. I had to stay overnight for one night and I watched a lot of TikTok <laughs> that night. Then I had my phone. I brought my iPad. I didn't end up using my iPad. I just used my phone and headphones to watch YouTube and TikTok. I brought a portable charger, although I was able to just like plug in a normal charger, but I brought a portable one to be safe. And I actually thought I'd have to bring my prescriptions that I normally take. Like I brought my Prozac and I didn't need to bring my Prozac. <laughs> like the doctors will have already known what you take for medication. They should have asked you that and they will actually provide it for you at the hospital. Go ahead and confirm that beforehand because if not, you'll bring your own, but they will likely supply it for you. That was all I brought to the hospital. Not a whole lot. Because my surgery was so early in the morning, I put the same pair of sweatpants and t-shirt back on when I left the hospital. Dress comfortably because I had them on for like an hour and then I'm in a gown for a day and a half. And I put them back on and then I went home. Dress baggy, dress comfortably. So pretty simple. So let's dive in to the rest of our favorites here. If you have recently had this surgery or you're about to, you're probably so sick of hearing the word protein. But protein is so important. And let me tell you, I was so nervous in my program before, like as they were talking about how much you're gonna rely on protein shakes because over the years, I've always tried different protein shakes and I've never met one that I did not despise. <laughs> Every protein shake I've had has just been so like ugh, chalky, just chalky. And then I met Core Power. <laughs> core Power, sing it with me, Core Power. Double check with your program, of course, it was approved by my nutritionist. The Fairlife Core Power Shakes are the only ones I can possibly stand. The vanilla and the chocolate. I have not tried the strawberry banana, I think it is, but I've heard good things about that one as well. The chocolate one tastes like a rich, creamy chocolate milk. The vanilla reminds me of like a melted McDonald's vanilla shake. <laughs> They're absolutely delicious. 26 grams of protein in here. And again, disclaimer, check everything with your doctor because something I've also learned throughout this process, talking to so many of you guys online, a lot of us have different rules in our programs. A lot of them are very similar, but I've learned from a lot of people that they were on liquids longer than me or puree, the pureed stage, like follow your program. That's really important. So another great way to get protein, I've gone through many bags of this. I get it on Amazon. It's the IsoPure Zero Carb Protein Powder. It is unflavored. You can sneak this in to so, so much. One scoop of this has 25 grams of protein. I try to get between 60 and 70 grams of protein every day. And most days I hit it. You kind of just learn how to get it. It gets easier with time. If it's overwhelming you, try not to be overwhelmed. You will find a groove. You will find your favorite foods. You will find a way <laughs> and it gets easier. But in the beginning, especially, this was an OG for me. I would sneak this into soups, into smoothies. I still do. And side note, my favorite blender is the one from Beast. I like that they have different size attachments and it's a super aesthetic blender. Like, look how pretty this blender is. <laughs> it looks so nice on your counter, but they have different sizes. This is the smallest one. Um, and we just recently ordered this because 
my smoothies were too big. Like I couldn't finish them. It would take me so long to drink or I'd be like, here husband, you can drink the rest, you know? So I love this smaller size option that they have and you can order, you know, covers, take it on the go. It's great for your smaller stomach. So great blender, aesthetic, very powerful. Sometimes if you want more of like a milkshake vibe, you can take a protein shake with some ice and Oh my God, blend it up. It tastes like a milkshake, a little bit icier than a milkshake, but still just really, really delicious. And you can sneak this into like your puree. You can put this in so much. It's definitely like not gross. Like I don't taste it. <laughs> so highly recommend having this in your life. I've never baked with it. It says you can bake with it. If you guys have any good recipes for adding that into, let me know. Okay, so uh, another huge part of this surgery is your calcium chews. So this video is not like all about gastric bypass. Again, my gastric bypass playlist will be linked below with my journey thus far. But every day I have to take a calcium chew three times a day. So I have tried multiple flavors now and I don't like a lot of them. <laughs> I have heard a lot of people tell me to try like the more decadent flavors like chocolate or caramel. And I just... I don't know that, I don't know why it doesn't appeal to me. I'm more of a fruity person when it comes to these because it's like kind of starburst vibes. I mean, maybe the chocolate would taste like a Tootsie Roll. It has the consistency of like a starburst Tootsie Roll combo in terms of consistency, but I've tried multiple flavors and this is the one I keep going back to, the Celebrate Calcium Citrate Chews in the flavor Mixed Fruit. I don't hate having to take them three times a day for the rest of my life. Uh, if you guys have a favorite calcium chew, please let me know down below. Maybe I'll give them a try. I should probably try a chocolatey one just once, just because everyone is constantly telling me that they're really good. But as of right now, this is the only one I actually don't dislike. When it comes to vitamins, they are crucial after your weight loss surgery. You're not getting all the nutrients you need. You can't eat that much. They're so important. Please do not skip your vitamins. So these are the ones recommended from my nutritionist. They are the Opurity Bariatric Multi Capsule with Iron. And I love that it is a once a day vitamin. I know some of them you have to take multiple times a day. This is a one time a day vitamin. And yes, it can feel overwhelming with everything you have to take. After the surgery, I'm taking Ursidol um, to prevent gallstones for six months, one in the morning and one at night. I have to take this, I have to take my calcium three times a day, and then just any other medications you may have. So that brings me to my next amazing favorite product. This little guy is <laughs> my whole life. I can honestly tell you, I always have one of these with me. This day to day. So I got this on Amazon. It's a three time a day pill organizer and you open it up. It has one for every day of the week. I prep it every week and it just makes it so much easier rather than being like, oh my God, did I take this? Did I take this? If it's still in the container, then I know I didn't take it and I don't have to worry about it. But it has a morning, day and night section and it actually fits everything perfectly. I can fit pills and my calcium in each slot. It's perfect since I have to take my calcium three times a day. I love these little things. They're amazing. So I've kind of established a routine now with my pills because you have to wait two hours after your multivitamin to take the calcium. So I get up, I take my usual morning pills, my vitamins, all that jazz. Then I set a two hour timer on my phone when I know I can take my first calcium. I will say I am constantly setting timers on my phone, uh, you know, 30 minutes after I drink before I can eat, then 30 minutes after I eat, I can drink those 30 minutes. Again, this all feels very overwhelming at first, but you genuinely get used to it. I don't want anyone to watch this video and be like, oh my God, this is too much, this is a lot. I know that it feels like a lot, but you, you do get used to it. It takes, what, 28 days to develop a habit, and then it just feels like second nature. So um, these are just my little hacks to make it easier. And uh, yeah, I highly recommend, <laughs> highly recommend this. And that way, like, you don't have to carry a bunch of pills with you all day or throw them in a Ziploc bag. This little thing is so easy to just throw in your purse and uh, you know if you took it or not. It's not so confusing. Oh, the holy grail for me right now, <laughs> stool softener. I was told so many times, you're gonna get constipated. Don't worry about it. You're eating so much less. Like you might only 
for lack of a better term, poop, you know, once or twice a week, that's fine. And I don't, I don't really care. Like if that, that, if that's normal, that's fine. For educational purposes, this is about feces. If you don't want to hear it, you can fast forward 30 seconds. All of a sudden, my bowel movements were really hard and very, very painful. Even though I was hitting my water goal, my protein goal, um, I talked to my nutritionist about it. She was like, I'm not sure you're doing everything right. This does happen to people. Like it was painful. Um, so I am now adding stool softener. I take every night before bed, I take 300 milligrams. That's what she told me I can take. I'm pretty sure it's like the max you're supposed to take every day. These are not like addictive, like your body. Like I'm not taking laxatives. They're just stool softener. Um, so I can continue to take these forever if I have to. So just adding in 300 milligrams of stool softener every night, I am not struggling anymore. So, uh, Good stuff. My water bottle's in the dishwasher, but I would highly recommend grabbing this water bottle as well. So water is crazy important. Like they do not want you to get dehydrated. I've heard horror stories about people after weight loss surgery getting dehydrated and passing out. It is very difficult, I will say. Like I try so hard and most days I can hit my water goal, but you really have to remember to drink water because of that 30 minute before, 30 minute after. And like, I eat such small amounts now, I kind of get hungry more frequently. I find myself eating like very small meals throughout the day. So I have to like really remind myself like, after that 30 minutes, you gotta drink your water. You gotta get down like a full, like, 20 ounces of water because it's only going to be a few times a day. So having this water bottle is really helpful because it has the full amount of how much I should drink in a day. And that way I know how much I have left in my goal. You know, when you're not drinking it, put it back in the fridge. You can bring it with you if you're going out, but like it helps you stay accountable with your water fluid intake goal. Okay. Also this is, oh, a lifesaver, a lifesaver on your period after gastric bypass. I'm so thankful that I found these. I totally found them randomly at Target. They are absolutely life-changing. So these are the Semane PMS and period support capsules. They are all natural. They're plant-based um, for bloating, cramps, and mood. I've always relied on naproxen, Aleve, uh, to help my period cramps. Like it's always been my go-to. It helps so much. Tylenol just does not cut it for me. And after gastric bypass, I can no longer take NSAIDs. And that includes naproxen, that includes ibuprofen. Like really the only thing you can take is Tylenol. And Tylenol works for headaches, but not for cramps for me. And like a hot heating pad helps to an extent, but like you can't always just take the day off and sit on the couch with a heating pad. So um, I tried these on a whim. The thing is you kind of go through a pack pretty quickly and they're not like super cheap. So you take two, three times a day, up to three times a day. Um, when you're starting to get period symptoms, it has like ashwagandha, caffeine-free green tea, magnesium, vitamin D3, curcumin. It has a bunch of natural ingredients. It helps my cramps so, so much. Are they gone 100%? No, but are they manageable? Yes, uh, I, I love these. I have been buying them regularly the last few months and one pack has 12. So this will last two full days if you're taking the full three times two pills a day, if that makes sense. But that's really the extent of when I get really bad cramps, it usually lasts about two days. So get these, they're amazing. This is something that I recently got. I saved the box to show you guys. This is really, really cool. So it's a smart nutrition scale and <laughs> This is, this is really cool. So on your phone, it has an app and you can basically, it has like Bluetooth, like the app with the scale. And basically you can put in what food you are weighing. And then when you weigh it, it will break down all of the nutrition facts of how much weight it can on the scale. You know what I mean? Like, so, you know, if you are weighing out some cheese, I don't know, you put into the app, you know, the cheese, the type of cheese, whatever. And then you weigh it on the scale and it will break down how many calories, how many protein. I got this for the protein reason. Like that's pretty much my number one priority and they will push that to you. This is amazing. Weigh out your chicken breast on here. That way you know exactly how much you're getting because a lot of the times I was guesstimating and now I can get the exact 
amount of grams I'm getting of protein with everything. So uh, it's an amazing tool, highly recommend. And then as well for tracking protein, I use the Berry Tastic app. Up at the top, I have like my protein grams, how many ounces of water I drink. It breaks down my, my day. I can do my weight tracking here, my calcium. You can track everything on here and like I connected it with my doctor's office. They have a checklist for pre-op and post-op. Like I can see when I'm supposed to do my six week appointment, when I can take a bath, when I'm allowed to start exercising, when my next lab work is due. It is the perfect app, whether your office, you know, integrates it or not, because they can see all my information on it because I linked it to my hospital. You know, whether you're doing that with your program or not, just I recommend downloading it to have for your own information. Berry Tastic, it's awesome. It's a great app. And the last product is kind of random, but these are my favorite walking shoes. When I was at my heaviest, um, these are the only shoes that really accommodated my weight. I felt like it really made me more comfortable. Um, walking was easier. Some shoes gave me some discomfort in my arch. Um, and these are the only ones that I felt like really, really accommodated um, being heavier. They're the New Balance um, Fresh Foam 880s. They're so dirty because I wear them every day when I walk, but I will link them down below. I highly recommend. They have them in wide width as well. Um, that's what I got. They fit really well. Like They're just like my go-to walking shoes because after your surgery, you are gonna be walking. Get up and walk. I walk two miles almost every day and it is so good for my mental health, physical health, especially right after your surgery. It will help with any gas pain. It helps with just so much. Get up and move around as soon as your doctor says that you can. I also have um, an Apple Watch where I track my movement every day. It helps me keep track of my exercise. I try to get at least 30 minutes of exercise every day. I usually go over when I'm taking my walks. It helps me to stand up every hour. Uh, it's a great overall health tool. Like closing your rings is so fun. Like I was always like, what's closing your rings? And my husband really put me onto the Apple Watch because it's so satisfying at the end of the day to see it close. Like you stand up every hour, like so you're not just sitting for hours at a time, get up and stretch your legs. It helps you um, meet your exercise goal, your calorie goal, things like that. So it's just a great, kind of fun way to track your fitness. So those are all my tools. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. There's probably other things if you've been watching me like in vlogs and stuff, but this is everything I could just remember in this moment. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I will check it out. Check out my other gastric bypass videos. I have been sharing a lot the last few months and let me know if there's anything else you guys want me to talk about. I really wanna be helpful for people who wanna have this surgery too because before my surgery, I was really looking into like online videos of people sharing their experience and I just felt like there wasn't that much content on it. So I'm happy to be that person. Let me know what else you guys wanna know. I love you guys. I'm sending you all good vibes. If you are in your surgery journey, you got this. It is the best thing I've ever done for myself. I am sending you all the good vibes. This is gonna be great. I believe in you <laughs> and I love you so much. I will see you guys in another video very soon. Bye.